Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Can vitamin D supplementation improve eczema? Let's get right into it. Eczema, other known as atopic dermatitis, or AD, impacts 5 to 20% of children worldwide. Of the kids that are affected, approximately 30% of them will have atopic dermatitis into their adulthood. Okay? This is a study, is a systematic review and meta-analysis of 22 studies. And they used a scoring uh, or rating scale called SCORAD or Scoring Atopic Dermatitis or EASI or Eczema Area Severity Index. So they utilize this scale to determine if vitamin D supplementation will help or improve symptomatology related to eczema. They talked about some of the pathogenesis of eczema. Weakened epidural defense barrier or skin barrier, immune dysregulation or dysfunction, which can be anywhere from your GI tract to your other organs that produce immune cells. Genetics, microorganism or infection of the skin, and allergens. And this can be anything from food to environmental allergens. Now, low vitamin D increases the risk of IgE, IgE levels and Staphylococcus aureus population. Basically, you can have a heightened immune response because of low vitamin D. And then Staphylococcus aureus, which is very common in eczema, uh, will have an increase in population in the skin. Vitamin D supplementation will increase antimicrobial peptides called B defensin, right? So it helps to fight off infection in the skin. Dosages in the study that was utilized was between 1,000 to 1,600 international units, or IUs, and they used it for approximately one to three months, depending on the study. And based on this small amount of dosaging and the short duration, they've noticed improvements. So the risk of vitamin D deficiency in patients who have atopic dermatitis was significantly higher than the higher uh, healthy population, right? So low vitamin D was associated with people who have atopic dermatitis. Vitamin D supplementation, okay? When you, ink, when you supplement with vitamin D at these levels, one to 1,600 international units, it decreases the score rad by 11 to 18.8 points, which is statistically significant. Compared to placebo vitamin <clears throat> to placebo, vitamin D supplementation decreases EASI index scores by 3.72 points. And that's also statistically significant. Now, vitamin D, if you can use <clears throat> proper testing, you can do probably higher dosages to improve vitamin D levels to an optimal level. And you wonder if they utilize higher levels and testing, could they have a better outcome in terms of atopic dermatitis? Also, when you look at atopic dermatitis, you can't ignore foods. So dairy can be a big trigger, even baby formula, right? Fermented dairy tends to have less problems, but dairy definitely can. Eggs, wheat, nuts, all grains, seeds, and vegetable oils can also be problematic and the overuse of antibiotics can certainly become problematic because it decimates the GI tract when you use a lot of antibiotics. You've heard those children who have chronic ear infections, chronic strep infections, and they're on antibiotics every month or every other month um, to take care of these infections. That really decimates the gut flora, weakening your immune system. So that can be another factor. Now, vitamin D, is one component of helping patients with eczema. There's other things like using probiotics, right? And uh, healing the gut using things like glutamine, aloe vera, 
um, diglyceride licorice. So there's many factors in, uh, that go into eczema, but this study highlights the fact that vitamin D alone can impact eczema. Now, it really depends also where you live, right? Latitude can matter because of sun exposure and vitamin D levels. So if you live in the Northeast versus you live in, by the equator, the incidence of eczema might be uh, slightly lower by, in, uh, near the equator. Okay? So vitamin D level is dependent on latitude and also supplementation and also food quality sometimes. All right? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on The Healthy Side. Have an awesome day.